Hi fellows and welcome back. I often get this question from a lot of Excel users around me. Whether it is possible to track changes in Excel just like we track changes in other applications like word processors etc. Answer to this question is yes we can. Today in our session we will look into the possibilities to add tracking into Microsoft Excel and we'll practically use it as well. So the first and foremost thing you have to do is you have to right click on the ribbon on top of your Excel spreadsheet. Then you right click on the ribbon. You find a lot of options and one of them is customize the ribbon. Click on this and the moment you click on it Excel options will appear. In this Excel options menu, you will find a lot of tabs and these are actually a replica of the tabs you have here. A lot of new tabs you can see here and also different groups that are within these tabs. So this part you see is at the group into the tab home. So we will add a new group into review part so that it's easy to access our track changes. Why I selected review part because it already contains proofing, comments, notes, etc. So it make, makes more sense to include it here. I will click onto a new group which naturally gets me a new group here. I will rename this new group and what I will select here is a name called track changes. Now you can select any name here. It will be representing our group here. Now we need to add drag changes into this tab. So I will click on to all commands and I will drag it down to the section T where we have track changes as well. So here are the track changes. I've already selected this new tab. So the moment I will click add here, these add will add the track changes here. Now we have added successfully track changes into our file. So I will click OK and we can see it on the top now as a new tab here. You can add more stuff to this track changes you have included for yourself. But I'll stick to this and I will simply go and select highlight changes for all of us. Click OK. And now whatever I will write, Excel will track it for me. For example, my new Excel and when I click on it it shows my name the date and the time and what changes I did from what to what so you can see from blank to my this is the change I have done similarly I've changed here and I've changed here and if I change anywhere else as well it will add it there so it is now successfully tracking not only the changes I'm making, but even if I'm deleting something, you can see here it has been tracked. So all the trackings are being done in my spreadsheet now. Very simple, straightforward. As I mentioned before, you go to the ribbons menu, add a new tab there, connect it with track changes, and then you will successfully be able to track those changes. You can accept and reject changes as well exactly as you do it for your trackers in Microsoft Word, etc, etc. So here I can accept and reject the changes as well. So you can see I can accept or reject or accept all. It's all up to me. So from here I can also control my tracking of the changes as well and the changes. I hope you enjoyed the video. Fellas, don't forget to write your comments down there, share your opinion, and if you have any other ideas about any new videos you would like to learn more about, please do share there. I wish you all the very best and looking forward to catch you in the next video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.